My man, Doe 2.0, yeah. don't forget the H behind the zero. Yeah, that. And that's a fact. Man. And I got my man Ski up here with him, man. That's my man. He ride or die. Best friends, man. You know what I mean? I like how y'all getting down, yo. Y'all supporting each other, man. You know what I mean? Like, you, I could say it's rare, you know what I'm saying? Because... Everybody, be, you know what I mean, want to get something out out of something. You know what That's I'm saying? Time, and everybody got I don't see it. that with you. You feel me? Like you feel me? You just there supporting your guy. You feel me? Yo, I ain't gotta say shit. You feel me? Like look, I'm just here with my man. You gonna no, see me every shit. time? If I didn't ask him to even be in the video, you with feel me? Like I'm cool and like. Yeah. And that shit, right? You know what I mean? Like that's some cool shit, man. You know what I mean? My man, Doe 2.0. DC artist, you know what I mean? First DC artist we got up on the show, yeah, Checkpoint that's all right, TV, man. you know what I mean? Right. We expanding, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what we doing, man. We playing our part. But yo, I want to ask you, how you um get locked in with 1924 being as though you a DC artist and they Baltimore based? All right, so I'm real transparent, so I'm just keeping the truth. It's crazy that you asked me this question, but we just going to put this shit on wax. So how I got introduced to uh, 1924 is I was dealing with a female, you know, who know one of the artists that's on the label, and she put me on, the, the artist that's on the label put me on, after they heard the music, you know, they put me on with the label, and that's how I met I. Oh, I guess it ain't that complicated. I'm oh, thinking. shit, that was cool shit, though, because the yeah. motherfucker put you on. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah, through yeah. a broad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a broad I was I messing with. Bro, broad come through another nigga. Nigga, who the fuck is that? <laughs> you feel me? So that was some real shit, nah, though. Fact, though, yeah. Her, her, yeah, I, I was fucking with her. Her friend put me on. And here we are. So, like, since you've been here, um, how has that been working out for you? Shit, if I'm being honest, man, it's, it's a breath of fresh air, low key, you know? Because a, a lot of shit I had to do on my own, or not even say do on my own, a lot of shit you got to come out of pocket for, or, mm-hmm. you know, more so. You got to put yourself in situations where, all right, I'm, I'm trying to fuck with this situation because as an artist, you coming up and you know where you at in the game, you, you, like, you're looking for a situation. Like, 
it ain't like I'm an independent artist, got a whole lot of money. I'm looking for a situation. So, you know, mm-hmm. niggas have been through situations trying to make a situation. So, you know, even though coming in here or whatever the case may be, it was just, you know, that's what it was type shit, you know, like. We we come here with intention to be great. So when I can not spend as much money on video shoots, gotcha. you know, and not spend so much money on, you know, even merch, you know, no material and shit like that, or down to the fact of even having a group of people that's moving together, like mm. finally finding a camp where everybody understands the plan, like, and, and, and people really got connects. Like, it's not a slouch situation. I ain't just talking to you, talking about what you can do. Like, this is a situation where if everybody, you know, do what we're supposed to do, then we go, we could be great. Like, and that's Absolutely. just a fact, like, especially with the video shit. So, like, overall, you saying since you've been fucking with them, <coughs> you see that it could be beneficial to your career. You yeah, know, yeah. Situation. Especially with the video shoots. Like, shout out to the cameraman, shout out to Fresh Man. Like, with the videos, like, the elevation is amazing. Like, you know, we got good music, we got good ideas, we got good, you know, presentations or whatever it is. So, having somebody that can bring all of that to life, that just like my engineers or whatever, having everybody that can bring it to the professional level of it. Like, yeah, we can go out here and shoot videos every day, you know, spend the money to shoot videos just around it. But when you got somebody that's really pay attention to detail and really at a professional mindset, like, yeah. Don't get it twisted. I'm not knocking no cameraman that I ever worked with because everybody's been great, but everybody is at a level. So when you elevate, it's just like, all right, this is what you, when we was here, this is what you can present for the situation. But now that we're here, it's like, I mean, with your cameras, your with all of that, you know? So it's just an elevation for us, man. Like, we, we got the work, we got the talent, but to have people that can bring the other stuff, like, man, all the pieces just work right now. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That's good to hear, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out my man, Fresh Money yeah, Shout out my man, Fresh Money Media, media for sure. Sick of him, man. You know, <laughs> he's too nah, humble, real, man. man. He is, though. But, yeah, Joe, man. you um, you came from another situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, with the music shit. Like, how long you been doing? How long? Let's get to that. How long you been doing the music shit? All right, so realistically in real life, as far as making music, I've been doing it since a kid. But as far as like really just putting the push to it and really chasing the dream, I've probably been doing it for like, I'm going to say like eight years now. Mm-hmm. I'm like really pushing it, really putting like money into it, really reaching out, really doing shows. About a strong eight years now. Yeah. And what like, you know what I'm saying, what made you go that route? No, nah, I, 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 it wasn't even a choice for me when it came to music. Like, I've been making music since I was like seven. Like, I still remember the Mickey Mouse songs. And all. Like, the, hey. making music wasn't a choice for me, like, even with the talent of sports. Like, I, I, I'm talented and shit in sports, but school, I couldn't get with because I never went and shit. But music just, it never left. Like, as much as I, I was here to tell you, bro, I just sat down and I made music for you. It's just something, it's just like riding a bike for me. It's like, okay. I didn't choose the shit. The shit really chose me. Like, so... I'm still here chasing this shit to this day. Like, I done invested a lot of time, a lot of money into this shit because I know it's it. And still, sometimes to the day, it don't make no sense. Like, what we doing? Like, I, that's why I still keep my real life, real life. But this shit, I, this shit, that's that. This shit gotta be better. Like, absolutely, man. Really so, should. like, yeah, you um, you was with, you know what I mean, somebody else before you got with 1924. Nah, nah, I was with. No. So, before 1924, this is the first time I ever really signed with a label management or whatever, you know. I've always been independent. Okay. Always. Anybody I ever was fucking with it was a, like maybe a clothing line or but as far as even the people that I was dealing with, my manager and all that, all that, everything was funded by, from me. Okay. Nobody never funded me. Ever. No okay. matter where I've been in life, no matter what I ever did, the features, whatever case may be, nobody never funded me. And that's why when you was asking me earlier, like when you come to nineteen, you know, twenty four, what's the? It's a, it's like I can breathe a little bit, bro. I don't okay. gotta keep spending Gosh, all this just, money on all this shit. So like I don't gotta keep, yeah, like without the like these connections that the, the label got and shit, like that shit, I would have to pay for it to mm. get to these type of people. Like you gotta you gotta pay to play, like to get to the to even reach these kind of people, right. you gotta have them back, like and that's just real shit. I've spent fifteen thousand dollars on a video that I've never even dropped. I spent ten thousand dollars on a feature that really I never even dropped evil, and that artist to this day is like, well, now, now to this day, because that's that's when I was, you know, back, maybe say like three years from now. Now that artist, you know, not even really doing anything. Like I really invested because at that point in time, all of that shit made sense. 
But even with the money and keep spending your way to get through shit, it means nothing if you don't have a situation. Because mm-hmm. I was nobody coming to these people with all this money and they put me in these positions to do, but I don't, I don't really got shit. To me, I was a, I was a jackpot to them niggas. Like, okay. oh, never artist came through hard, all this money, woo, woo. Ain't really my do, woo, 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 woo. And I learned from that shit, though. Right. Like, Ben Ma, I got, like, real life, shot my video out LA and all of that shit. Like, I really done a lot of shit. It's, it's here no there to brag on because it really ain't changed nothing, you know. But I really know where I'm at right now. After being through what I've been through, it's a hell of a situation. The dice just got to roll our way. That's it. So since you've been, you know, you a DC artist, you fucking with a label that's Baltimore based. Did you tap into the Baltimore scene? So nah, to be honest with you, this is the most interaction I've had with Baltimore since I was coming to Morgan State when I was young. This is the most Baltimore action I've ever had. But I fuck with you guys, man. Like even right. when we were talking about the cigarette shit in one of the videos, we like, like I fuck with it. I just never really got entwined to the Baltimore culture. To me, y'all are y'all own entity. When mm-hmm. I'm from the city, like people put Maryland and Virginia with us before Baltimore, and they act like Baltimore ain't Maryland type shit. Like mm-hmm. y'all are y'all own entity when it comes to this whole DMV shit. Yeah, so if you ain't so. coming out here, you ain't from out here. This is a whole nother world. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I be saying. Like, man, Baltimore and D.C. get so geographical. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's like, sure. yo, you here now. It's like, I hope I can introduce you, you know what I'm saying, to the Baltimore scene. and You know what yeah. I'm saying? And people can notice you. And you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you can work with some of these dudes in Baltimore. Because it, that's sure. the whole reason why we doing this. For sure. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't discriminate, man. I don't even care where I'm Like, I, I love where I'm from, but I don't care where I'm from. That shit don't got nothing to do with me. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll be real with you. The city ain't raised me or nothing. Like, I'm from DC and all that, but what, what 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 Baltimore artists have you heard, you know, none. since you know, none? Oh, besides the people that I've heard on the label I, I, that I've just got out. So you don't know no Baltimore artists at all? They were. Alright, that's it. You never heard of YG Tech? Nobody. But I'm I'ma say this because and he can stamp this. I don't know about last year. You could be super famous. I don't pay right. attention to nobody else, bro. See, I get what you're saying. So when people people got put me on or something for me to know, it could even be the the big. He'd be like, it could, lady, it could be a lady or a Drago. I don't know why you at. He'd be like, bro, you heard this song? No, like bro, I don't that's pay how I was. To none of that shit. Bro. That's how I was coming up, bro. And that'll get you. That'll get you far. But looking in hindsight, I thought it hindered my career because you know, being me as strong as I was, yo, I feel like. Had I been into, you know, at least try to, you know what I mean, figure out what other people doing or, you know, give a fuck about, you know, what other people doing, right. even try to collaborate or expand, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I but feel now, like, yo, I could have been way yeah. bigger than I am, but just because I it was who I was, I was like, yo, whatever I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. I ain't worried about what nobody else doing. I feel like. That's what you doing. Yeah. But this the music business. Do you feel like that could be a hinder? Nah, I feel like I don't I don't decline anything. Like anything that's presented to me, anything that comes across my path, I'm with it. I'm just not the person that's just about to be trying to figure out what everybody else doing because gotcha. at the end of the day, to me all that should be a facade. Like a nigga could be on, they could be looking sweet, but you don't know how they that person got there or you don't know who funded that young. All that shit is affecting me. I like I don't, if I don't know you personally, I ain't about to okay. put you on no pedestal. Gotcha. I don't give a fuck who you is. I don't know yeah. how you got there. I don't know what the case may be. I know my grind. I know my path. And me looking at your shit ain't ain't helping me. Like, I don't knock. If that shit lit, I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to play that shit. going to knock. I'm, I'm going to tell him, like, oh, shit, this is crazy. Who did it? He be like, this is, oh. I be like, but, but I ain't here. But I'm a, now I'm going to crank to it. Now right. I'm going to play it in my car every motherfucking day or whatever the case may be. But I'm as an artist, it irritates me. I don't mm-hmm. like saying people operate, boo, living my dream, and especially when I know I'm talented. Like, I don't be trying to toot mm-hmm. my own horn and shit. Like, I put in a lot of work, dog, and I know I'm talented. So, my question be like, what the fuck? And some of these people don't even be really lit. Like, mm-hmm. so it'd be like, it'd be the back end. Like, and that's why, I, like, I pay attention to that shit. Like, the back end is crazy. You got a nigga behind you, bro, that really got that bag, that really got to come next. That shit is easy. You don't even mm-hmm. have to be talented, dog. You just in the door. It's about the network. Yeah, and I can't be a sucker. I can't fake. Be a friend with a nigga just because... 
None of that shit, but we authentic over here, bro. Like, even we gonna make it or we ain't. I ain't. I yeah, want right. to, but I ain't about to. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I'm here to live my life. Like, if I make it in this rap shit, cool. I I do music because I cannot not do music. Like, mm-hmm. that's just it's in it's in me. Like, I cannot not do it. Even if I wanted to not do it, I cannot not do it. So if I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. I really don't give a fuck about it. To be real with you, it's just a dream for me. It's gonna happen. Or it's gonna happen. It ain't it ain't. I don't know what that shit is. So you in the DC area? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You pretty known in the DC area, you know, like with the music tip. You know what I mean? I was saying, I was saying, I'm fairly known. Or, or, or I'm gonna say, what what group of people are we referring to? Are we referring to people that make some kind of relevancy for artists in the city? Yeah, like or we just you know, talking like, about like me getting on the internet, posting something to get no, on it. No, we talking about with. With your music, oh, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? With your core fan base. Yeah, yeah, more yeah. So. Like, you oh, know what I'm saying? Like, or oh, fan base, I would say. Do they know you more for rapping or? Oh, yeah. Other? Everybody know me for rapping. Okay, Everybody cool. know me for rapping and been outside. That's for sure. Yeah, right, everybody cool. know me for rapping, for sure. There's no question about it. Like, But as far as like, I would say like, doing something or posing something, like, everybody ain't going to react. Like they really like they know me in real life type shit. Like okay. I could have a hundred. I like my views on stories and shit would be way more crazy than me really posting on my page. It would make any sense. Like people would rather watch me, and I don't know if it's because my like people would rather watch and really fuck with me when they see me or whatever. Because maybe versus publicly support, and that make any kind of sense. You think that's because of how you carry yourself? Yeah, and I know it's one hundred and ten percent. I know it's 110% because how I carry myself. I know that for a fact. And again, so you 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 got the unapproachable type of um, persona. Nah, I I, I feel like it's not unapproachable. I feel like it's you got to understand who you are before you come over here. Gotcha. If you you don't got the confidence in yourself, you don't know who you is. You coming over here with all this insecurity and shit. Over here, we confident. Over here, we gonna boast and brag. We gonna wear good shit. We gonna we even if we got fucking too, we we our, our confidence is our fucking clothing. So if you coming over here and all that bullshit, then that's on you because you're insecure about whatever the fuck you got going on. We don't give a fuck because you thinking we really looking or sweet or we got a hundred thousand dollars in our pocket, nigga. We go to work every day, nigga. We check, but you where you you it look like because that's our persona. So if you can't hang with the persona, you just got So to. people come in like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just people be intimidated like, by my you know aura, bro. Like just my aura, bro. People be intimidated by it, bro. Like like I can say the same thing somebody else say to somebody, but you're gonna take it differently when I say it versus when they say it. Mm. And it's just because of who, it's me, it's dumb. You know, so you taking it like but it don't even mean none of that. I'm the realest motherfucker. I'm the shyest motherfucker. I'm the most loyalest motherfucker you could ever meet in your life, bro. I feel it. Like, for real, it. bro. <laughs> like, so how would you say the D.C. area was supporting your shit? Is it, you know what I'm saying, up like to your paw? You know what I'm saying? Nah, it's my city. It made me crabs in the bucket, man. Until I do something that really smack them and grab them or two, I affiliate myself with somebody out there. And that's the only, but I ain't doing none of that. I really love my city, but I really can care less about my city when it comes to this music shit. That shit is the bottom, that shit is the bottom of the burg. So you're saying the support level in DC yeah, I'm, on the music tip is low? Until you, until, until you got some motion. And then even when you got the motion, you still got to be careful. You can't even fucking enjoy it. That's everywhere. You got to fucking be careful. It ain't everywhere. I don't believe that. It is. I mean, yeah, it is, but I don't feel like it is for us like, because yeah. we only got so many places we can go. Like, like once you yeah, get on though, out here, when nigga get on, bro, the hate is just, it's like you, you basically oh, no, no, doing the hate, more for sure, for sure, for sure. of what people hate. And when they see you progressing with it, it's like it get more yeah, intensified. Boy. They start throwing shots. And then it's like when that don't work, it get more intensified. You know what I'm telling well, you don't got enough, this. You don't got the same time for people. You ain't on the same shit. People it, don't understand that shit. They think you you being fake. But it's like, bro, I'm elevating. I'm moving forward with my life. Like, you still there. I'm not sitting outside every day no more, bro. I got this and this. So what you think? What you think? Because, yo, we need to change the narrative. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you think could... Be done to change that type of narrative where, where you know the support can go, you know what I'm saying? Like it could work for everybody. Or yeah, do you man. think it can even if everybody be that ain't way? making the same amount of money every day, it will never happen. Man, that's fucked up. It is, but it's it's reality. And I live in reality. If everybody ain't making the same money every day, 
It's always gonna be problems, man. If any nigga making more, if any nigga looking more sweet, any nigga fucking more bitches, any nigga driving them more, it's wow. always gonna be a fucking problem. And that's crazy. That's the crazy thing about, cause like, yo, when you look at another motherfucker, you take away from yourself. That's you know what I'm saying? If you doing better than what you was doing the day before, then you winning. You winning. That's so if you compare matters. yourself to this man and you know you ain't making this, you taking away from yourself automatically. So why do you even do that? Why do we even do I that? I ain't never had that problem to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Like I, and that's and I feel like stuff. you don't you don't have that yeah. problem too because how you carry yourself. Yeah. And that's what make that or that I be talking about. Like that's what make our, our situation mm. click because you have men that's everybody has the same moral perspective or. Uh, in a lot of perspective, we all see each, we all in the same lane without even knowing each other. Like you think, like I think, you think that so it's going to work. But if you got people around you that just don't operate like you, like it's no, it's nothing wrong with loving your your people from a distance. But like we on the we on two different pages, bro. Like you want to do this every day, I don't. I, you still my nigga. When we can hang on the birthdays or whatever the case may be, then we gonna hang, bro. But it's we on two different pages, bro. Like, I'm really still to this day chasing my motherfucking dream. Can't nobody tell me about an age. Can't nobody tell me about a nothing. I'm chasing my dream. People are like, why well, ain't got kids? I'm chasing my dream. I'm chasing my dream. I invested a lot of time and money in this shit, bro. You know, put that on wax. They coming. Yeah, but I'm chasing my, I'm chasing my <laughs> dream, bro. And until, Don't tell them that, boy. They coming. And until I feel like that shit, there's, there's no chance. Uh, and I don't feel like, I feel like I'm in my prime right now. That's the most you crazy really? shit ever. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm making the, I'm making the most. You, even with my music, bro, I'm making the best music I've ever made in my life right now. That shit, oh. That shit be fucking me up sometimes. I'm still shocking myself. Like, shit, oh, man. for real, bro. Still be shocking myself, shit, man. Oh. So it's just time, man. So, like, all right, you you from DC? You tapped in with nineteen twenty four, which is a Baltimore based label. Why not use Baltimore as your backyard and start tapping in, so you can bubble? No, I'm with that. And I hope that. I can help you with that. Yeah, like I tell you, every situation we know we got going on out here, just let me know. Even if the artists y'all got going on got work, they need to got an open verse and that shit to me. I have no problem putting anything on wax for Absolutely. anybody right now. But the only thing I'm gonna say is if that shit ain't hitting on nothing, I'm not gonna do no verse. Like I, I ain't asking yeah. nobody for nothing. Ain't none of that shit. If you send me some shit. And that shit really on, uh, sound good. I'm an artist. I'm listening to it. I would put it on. I don't care about if you really popping or any of that shit. If you got a dope ass song, I'll put that shit on. I, and I even right now, I shoot the video with y'all. Like all that type so of shit. So let's get to that. Like, all right. What's hot? What is considered hot? Like, what kind of artist do you consider yourself as? Like, a gangster rapper or an industry artist or. That's the million dollar question I've always been asked, man. I don't, I don't know what bracket to put me in. Like, I make, I give you everything. Like, I really give you everything. I'm really, I'm really diverse. So to me, I just stamp that I'm global. Like, I'm, I'm global. To me, I feel like the music that I make, like, can be forever music. Like, we still listen to songs that I made six years ago, like Cadence and all of that shit. Like, I just, I just feel like I got forever music. Like, I don't feel like I'm a gangster rapper, but I, I, I don't feel like I'm a R and B ass nigga. I just feel like. Whatever the mood is, whatever that beat strike, I'm gonna give it to you. I have all kind of music, man. like literally, yeah, like I not trying to go to like no rock pop shit, but like all kind of music, man. I cannot put myself in no category. Anybody overall, to when you um go in the booth, is you more so entertaining people, or you just that's all I do. spitting your shit to because you, that's you just you know what I mean expressing yourself. I'm always expressing myself, but I'm making music at the same time. Like okay. me, I gotta pick my first. It's it's my beat, like so. My beat has to, off the rip, make you feel some kind of way. Make me feel some kind of way. Like oh, I, right. whatever. Like even if it's a Afro, even the clip, I gotta make me feel some kind of way. And then I go to my hook. The hook hook changes everything. And then from there, go from there. I give you pain music, give you love music, give you trap music, give you uh, fucking. Afro music, shit. My, my you fuck with the go go? I know you from DC. You ever put yeah, one of your joints to the go go? No, I would never do no shit like that. <laughs> 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 Why? Never. They were playing in the club. You don't want, you, nah, you go, don't go, think you. Go 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 is not go go no more. Like I say, I'm from that city. So today's go go is not what we was in the go go. 
No, OG TOB, OG TCB, back y'all, that shit. When we were my era, my age, that's when that shit was living. When Wale was doing it, when he was doing it, he mm-hmm. did it the way he did it because that's what the time to do it, and that's why the fuck he got on. Right okay. now, that shit, Go Go ain't holding no fucking weight. No it's way. more rapper than it's Go Go. So, all right, hold up. Let's get into some geographic shit. Clubs right popping now and then. Is beating your feet still in? No. When have you seen anybody do that? In the joint? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like being your feet with that. Well, why would they even say that though? Being your feet with that shit. That's the that's the brand of the city. Don't get it twisted. Like that's yeah, what be, I'm saying. Being your feet is yeah. If you beat your feet, you, you know that nigga from the city. Yeah, that's our dance. Yeah, for sure. I ain't trust and believe. I ain't knocking nothing that my city do. Like go go is our shit for sure, nigga. Yeah. Mumble sauce is our shit, nigga. For sure, nigga. Like I ain't knocking nothing yeah, that shit. I'm saying like to rap my shit with go go today. Hell nah. <laughs> And that shit ain't gonna do nothing. That's yeah, right. man. Nothing. So you got any um new music that's coming out? Hell yeah, man. So of course we did did you know the mic check with the checkpoint. Uh the We On Go coming out. That's the first song I'm gonna drop through the label, you know, but I just dropped uh Bye Bye Ho, which we was, you know, running for a minute. You know, mm-hmm. everybody know that, man. We we crushed the clubs with that shit. Uh, motivation in my first motherfucking video I shot with the label on Fresh. He dogged the shit out that joint. We pushed that. Then That's we just all. dropped a joint. You know, the baby Booski with 3 old Black. He from the city too. You know, he from the city, you might know him. You know, Baltimore, you might not know him. But 3 old Black, you know, big artist. Got the feature with Lil Baby and all that. We just dropped that joint on the first. You know, so we're going to figure out the video for that shit. But we working, bro. Mm-hmm. We working. Is there any artists that you want to work with? Like, like locally? Like, locally, you know what I mean? Like, to get to a status where you can, you know what I'm saying? Like, locally, right now, like I said, I don't really be knowing a lot of these niggas, but locally, if I got to really say anybody locally right now, I do a song with Flock right now. That nigga Flock, that nigga Big Flock, he from the city, where he from Maryland, but, you know, he from the same, all mm-hmm. that shit the same, you know, he mm-hmm. definitely an upgrade, he be cranking like shit right now, okay. for sure. Yeah, it definitely be some lot of guys, man. It's some guys y'all probably don't know about. They close down to that. Where they at? PG. Um, I don't know what that area we was in. What they called? 100 grand or some shit. But oh, yeah, yeah. We, we went down there to the video. I was like, damn, I wonder did they... I thought of y'all. Yeah, be honest, you know I ain't heard of them yet. Because I know DC, PG, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the Maryland part. You know what I mean? Yeah, and all that shit be close to DC, so... I, th- I really I thought of y'all when we was down there doing that video. From they from in the city, but... They from in this... They from Baltimore. They just out there. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense. All right, cool. So, I'm just... You know what I mean? I'm, nah, shit, I'm diving into a whole... You know what I mean? Like, I like this shit, yo. I, like, I want to just make a whole information port where it's though. I'll come on here. You know, get noticed. That's the main thing. You feel me? And... If you don't know something, you can learn something. You know what I'm saying? If you know something, you can leave it here. The next person can learn something. You know what I'm saying? Right. Things like that. But, yo, your man Ski, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, how long you been rocking with this, your man? You know what I mean? Uh, man, On his music man. journey. Give you a little, little something there, yo. My son. Uh, I've been rocking with my mind for uh, like two and a half years. Something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, man. Yo, you, you need a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, this shit hard. Man, you can't do this no, shit by yourself. Team, though. But, you and know what I mean? Four, we got forced on each other. And that shit just, like, work. <laughs> and oh, y'all were forced on each other. Man, if you were here to, you know, the story behind how me and this man became what we are today, it's, 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 it's comical for sure. Well, you know. Busy is a revolving door, so you know what I mean. Hopefully, yeah. you come back on. You know what I mean. Yeah, we one day we might that. talk to like I, we big on no free promo, man. Yeah, uh-huh. man, they don't get no free promo from us, like shit. But you know, like I said, we was forced upon each other because yeah. we so loyal and shit. You know, so but hey, no, we might we might one day unravel that. You know, we unravel that gift, but not today. Not share that. So where can you know what I mean? Like I find your music. Like what am I punching in when I'm looking for your music? Punching in Do 2.0, that's D O U G H, you know, 2.0, that's the numbers. Make sure y'all put the letter H behind it. We on all platforms, man. Literally all platforms from the TikTok to the Instagram to the Apple to the Spotify, you know, YouTube, all that shit, man. 
tap band, share, like, you know. Fuck with this, man. We coming up, man. There's no way to it's too late, man. Cause we charging. I just offered a lot of free features. I have videos, man. I'm telling y'all. It's, it's destined to be 2024 is our year, man. So just tap in, man. I'm giving it. This, this year is, is a free year for all of us. But after this, tap in. Yeah. In the song, in the song you performed today, like this tap into that for me, like what made what inspired that? Because that's a nice song. I really like that. Uh, we saying? on go, yeah. That, that's a good question. I appreciate you asking that too, Crock. Uh, so we on go, man. So that's kind of a celebration for myself, like. Signing to a label, you know, like, you know, regardless of what the outcome, like me, me actually getting to a point where, um, with a label, like, and and they have revolving doors for me, like, granted, like I just told y'all about three years ago, I walked in the universal, you know, with everybody, you know, I should have been signed, you know, situation ain't having the way the situation because my manager at my time fucked up the situation long story short I've been there already mm -hmm. so for me to even be back in a situation where I know this shit can take me there like at first if even I would have probably got with them the people probably would have tried to rape me take with it. this is a situation where it's the same situation but we just all got built to get there but I feel like you know as me coming into this situation I feel like alright boom everything is a go now type shit. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like all T's is crossed it all, you know, eyes are dotted and I feel like passionately my my motherfucking intuition is real. So I feel like this is a situation where I'm groomed for the shit. Like even mm -hmm. like seasoning shit like this is the time now because I know everything to do and the the label got everything that that they, they just wanna see the work and the mm -hmm. work and then we've been working for you. Man, we've been working. Right. But the work is like what? Like when I first came and talked to them, like they really sat down, like you know, talking to me, you know, as if I was another artist just coming into the door. But like, you know, I really was talking to them, like I'm like, whoop. And I remember the first time I gave him a song, and I don't know who I've called. They was on the phone or whatever, case may be. He let him hit the song. It was the motivation jump, bro. And he was like, uh, this this the guy that came uh, to the studio uh, and, and was talking like that. Woo -woo. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. He was like. Ooh, he was like, well, shit, I'm glad he come like that because he was talking confident and shit, but it, it, it's not that I was, and I'm glad he said confident <laughs> versus cocky, like, because right, I really okay. already knew why I stood with this shit. Like, mm -hmm. I don't need a cameraman. I don't need a studio. I don't need none of that shit. Like, I can do all that shit on my own. But to come into a situation where you have a genuine ass cameraman who really dope as shit, yeah, that. and then when you got a team that's really hungry, mm -hmm. they just, you know, need a couple pieces to they puzzle just yeah, as much really. as I need a couple pieces of my motherfucking puzzle, like, and it just make a whole lot of fucking sense, like, like to even get in sync with us. We gonna get back on that one time too. How I even really got introduced to the label, like, yeah. <laughs> like that's a funny ass story. Yeah, it's too. definitely like, a lot more we gonna catch yeah. up on, man. Like I say, it's definitely a revolving door, yeah, man. For man, sure, man. Appreciate y'all. Sure, sure, I appreciate you, bro. For sure. Do two point man. DC artist, man. Right hand man. Ski. Supporting the movement, man. Like I say, first DC artists, man. We expanded, man. It's the checkpoint, and we bringing you upcoming artists daily. I've been grinding since a chip. Now it's time for me to pop my shit. Never trust the soul. We like the door. That shit just common sense. She starts sharing her load, and that's my mind. I told her no. Fuck you think you might be your clock in me, or